Preparatory work: the installation site should be free from dust, keep dry and ventilated. Check whether installation tours are complete. Check whether cable accessories match correctly. Straighten and sew both ends of the cables to be connected. Stripping. Stripping follow with the size of the installation instructions. Feature manual figure one. Build off the outer sheath in sequence. Long end 1100 millimeters. Short end 500 millimeters. Leave the rest 30 millimeters at both ends of the steel armor. And peel off the rest. Leave 500 millimeters at each end of the inner sheath. And remove the filler reserved for use and separate the three faces. After measuring the length of 310 mm, fix it with PVC tape, peel off the copper shield. Keep the 50 mm semiconductive layer and cut off the rest. Be careful not to damage the insulating layer when stripping the semiconducting layer. Polish the remaining steel armoring surface and clean the outer sheath. Polish the outer sheath and inner sheath. Add 3 mm to the 1 second length of the connecting pipe and cut off the insulation layer. Measure 35 mm at the end of the insulation layer. Cut into the 30 mm long cone. Retain 5 mm inner semiconductive layer. Set the surface of the insulation layer with fine sandpaper. Be careful not to polish to a semiconductive layer. Remove residual semiconductive particles. Clean the main insulation layer. Fill up the outer semiconductive layer and the stabs of the insulation layer with stress evacuation adhesive. Lap 5 to 10 mm each. And apply a layer of silicon paste.
The stress tube was sheeted to lap the outer semiconductive layer 20 millimeters. And fixed by heating and shrinking. The pipe and copper network are set in turn. The casing is set in each end of the cable. And each of the cable is set into a set of internal insulation tubes outer insulation tubes, and semiconductive tubes. Put copper meshes on the short ends of the cables, respectively. Install the connecting pipe. Install the connecting pipe and put it into the connecting pipe for crimping. When crimping, it should be crimped from the middle of the connecting pipe to both sides. After crimping, file the edges and burrs on the joint pipe and clean the joint pipe. Wrap the semiconductive band on the connecting tube and lap the inner semiconductive layer 5 mm. Wrap and fill the semiconductive belt with adhesive tape and insulation self-adhesive tape so that the connecting pipe and the main insulation smooth transition. The two ends of the main insulation layer lap 10 mm. Clean the insulation layer and the outer surface of the stress tube with cleaning paper. First, fill the stab between the stress tube and the main insulation layer with stress evacuation adhesive, lap 5 to 10 mm. And spread a layer of silicon grease evenly on the insulation and the stress pipe and the connecting pipe. Install heat shrinkable insulation tubes. Install heat shrinkable insulation pipes. Place three internal insulation pipes in the center of the connecting pipe and heat and shrink the pipes from the middle to both ends. Then put three outer insulation tubes in the center of the inner insulation tube. Heat and shrink from the middle to both ends. From the copper shooting port, wrap the end face of the outer insulation tube. with sealant and fill the gap. Wrap into a cone shape. The semiconductive tube is placed in the center of the outer insulation tube and heat it to shrink. Wrap copper shield and semiconductive tube lab with semiconductive tape 10 mm.
The stretched copper mesh is covered on the semiconductive tube, and both ends are overlapped on the copper shield of the cable. Fix the grounding wire and the copper net on the copper shielding layer with a constant force spring. And wrap PVC tape around the constant force spring. Sealing. Sealing treatment, three-phase close finish, restore filling, fixed with PVC tape. The steel armor at both ends of the cable is connected with a ground wire and fixed with a casting force spring. The casting force spring is fixed with PVC tape. And the filling glue is wound on the casting force spring and the outer sheath to fill the gap. Wrap sealant 50 mm on the outer sheath. Wrap sealant on the outer sheath and inner sheath at both ends of the cable. Heat and shrink one end of the inner sleeve to lap the inner sleeve so that the two inner sleeve lap. Install the outer sheath. Install the jacket bushing. Lap one end of the jacket bushing with the cable jacket for 100 millimeters and fix it by heating and shrinking. Installation finish. Clean up the side. Thank you for watching.